Today I want to talk about the one-handed backhand. So when I teach the backhand, I want to break it down into four commandments. Commandment one is going to be prepare. Before we get into those four commandments, I want to go over the grip. You want to make sure that you have a continental handshake grip or even can slide this number one knuckle a little bit more on top to this top bevel. Okay? It's completely up to, what, to you what's most comfortable. So let's go back to the four commandments. Commandment one is prepare. When I see that ball leaving my opponent's paddle, I'm going to do what I call read and react. I'm going to read that it's going to my backhand. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my paddle back in position. So commandment number one. When I do this, notice I'm going to pull the paddle back with my left hand if you are a right-handed player. So I'm going to pull this back with my left hand. And now I'm going to bring my right thumb to my left pocket. Notice how this tucks this in right here. This tucks this right, brings this elbow into my body. And as I do this, I should actually feel a little bit of flex in my pectoral muscle. You don't want this away from your body. There's nothing there. So I'm going to go commandment one, boom. Commandment two is going to be what I call cha-cha-cha. You're going to get in position to hit the ball. So I go commandment one. Now I have to move to the ball. Cha-cha-cha. Now notice when I stop, I'm going to stop with the weight on my left foot. So one, two. See how right here it's on my left leg. Now, I'm now imagining my left leg is on a scale. And all I'm going to do is transfer that weight forward as I start commandment number three. Commandment number three is your swing pattern. As I go back, weight on my left foot, now I'm going to lead with the butt of this paddle. Okay, so I'm going to lead, I'm going to lean into my shot, I'm going to transfer my weight, and now I'm going to come forward with this butt leading. My contact point wants to be quite a bit in front of my right leg. See that distance between there? So I'm going to go here and when as I go to hit, the face of my paddle, the face of my paddle will be facing towards my target. So I go one, two, cha-cha-cha, transfer the weight, lead with the butt. Now, this is very important. Look at my left hand back here. I want to keep this left arm back, kind of like I'm reaching for my wallet. And then I come up. So we go on our commandment number three, we're going to lead with the butt of that paddle, contact, imagine hitting three balls. And now commandment number four, this is the most important part because it makes you look really good. So I go one, two, three. Now I'm gonna come, imagine hitting three balls. One, two, three, come all the way up. And when I'm done, I should be able, I should be able to look under my paddle. If my paddle's way over here, okay, I've opened up way too much. So we'll come through, we'll pose for a pitcher. I'm reaching for my wallet right here. As I do it, this stroke is one of the most beautiful strokes in the game of pickleball. So let's review it real quick, the four commandments. We got one, two, three, four. Now the checkpoints, we have three checkpoints. Am I looking under my paddle? Is my belly button facing towards my target? And am I finishing with my left heel off the ground as so? This is Kevin. Good luck. We'll see you on the court.